Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back this week with another video, and we're gonna take a look at Redux. So we're gonna we've got a little live template we've got here, and there's a few different loops, and we'll just drop Redux on our base channel. And what Redux does is it tries to recreate the sound of using a older piece of hardware that didn't handle the sim sample rates that we can handle now um, with our new hardware. So with the older hardware when we would record samples into it it would get down sampled and you would get all sorts of um, artifacts and um, the reduction of the bitrate would actually cause it to sound a bit more distorted and things like that. Um, Nowadays, it's nice that we can record at much higher rates like 24-bit or 96 kilohertz, but um, sometimes you want that crunchier sound. So what we've, got, what we've got here is just a few dials. We've got bit reduction that actually controls the bit depth, and then we've got down sample, which controls our sample rate. And then you have, you can either turn it on uh, for the bit reduction, or you can switch your down sample to hard or soft. Soft gives a much uh, more gradual range. Um, it just goes from 1 to 20. And hard will actually go all the way up to 200. And we'll, what we've got this on is our base. So I'm going to turn that on and then we'll mess with some of the dials and you can hear what it sounds like. So you can hear much more distortion here. Now when we change this to hard, you're going to hear it really get torn apart. And you could just adjust the bit rate if you want, um, but that isn't as gradual. And this overload um, light here just will tell you if you're overloading um, the Redux plugin. Any data that comes in or the signal that comes in, if it goes over 0 dB, it's going to be considered overloading it. So that's pretty much Redux. There's not much to control on it. Um, you can use it for all sorts of things. As you could hear, it sounds actually pretty cool for a buildup, maybe on a baseline. Um, or you could put it on uh, 303 and give it kind of that crunchy old sound um, that you would have heard in probably um, in the 90s and such. And you can see we're overloading it right now, which isn't always a bad thing, because it actually will...
thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you have any questions or even suggestions for using Redux, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can get next week's video. And again, thanks for checking it out.